Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul. We're going to get right into it today. As you can see by the title, we got a few things to cover. Uh, the expedition is live. Everybody's going nuts with that right now. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, communication back and forth. I've seen a lot of videos popping up some, some, from some well-known individuals who have played No Man's Sky for a very long time that are suddenly very disappointed in the last update. Uh, the update that pretty much was exactly what I said, that it was going to be an update on the graphics. And in this case, they did a lot of, uh, you know, user setting type uh, uh, revamping, I guess is the right word. I can't think of the right word right now. But basically, uh, you know, the experience was was upgraded, if you will. I guess they were expecting more, but I don't know. In my mind, I think everything went pretty well. There have some, been some changes to the gameplay just a little bit, but... Guys, it's it's a game, okay? Just everybody chill out. Enjoy the game for what it is. If there's been some changes, enjoy the game for what it is, okay? So everybody calm down a little bit. So we're going to get right into the Twitch rewards real quick. As you have been getting Twitch drops, you're going to come to your Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, and you're going to see that there's an item on your list that says Collect Twitch Rewards. When you select that, you will see all the things you've recently collected. Sometimes it may take just a little bit of time for you to get it. Sometimes it may take a couple more days to get it. It just depends upon what system you're using. Now, if you're using Steam and you're on the PC, this is what you will find. You'll see the ships that you can get, uh, the different available crafts that you can get, things like this. As you can see, I've got a bunch of others in here that I've gotten from previous Twitch rewards. You can see, looking down the left side, I've got a lot of different things that I can collect. So, yes, I could get all these things if I wished. Um, I've already got the armor. I've already got everything in here in regards to what else, whatever else I wish to get, including many fireworks and pets and visages and things like this. Um, very neat to be able to get these things. Uh, there are certain things that are my favorites that I get every single time I play a new, new, new save or something along those lines. Uh, I encourage you to just go through and enjoy the things that you can get. Um, as you can see, I've collected a bunch of stuff too on my main save here. So there is that. Uh, the second thing is is the things that you can create with the exotic Quicksilver. You can see that the tentacled cape is now available. I'm going to go ahead and get it. We're going to take a look at that in just a second here. Okay, and while we're at it, we're going to go over here and let's check our menu real fast in the... Uh, community research and you can see that that is complete and that there's nothing new that's been given to us just yet so even if we go to the anomaly missions right now if I can get through the metal bar that was right in front of me good job there you can see that there's you can still get the 1800 Quicksilver on the special mission in this case it's the creeping flesh purging an infestation but I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's take a look in here real fast. We're going to get, like I said, get these things out of the way real quick. I really love this cape that he's wearing right here. I love the fact that the ship on the back glows. That's really, really cool. And I'm loving this game for everything that it can be. So let's just take a look at the back. I now have the newest tentacled cape. And this is what the tentacled cape looks like, especially with my color scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and save it like this. Let's just take a look. And we'll use this for a little while. Okay, so pretty neat tentacles. I like it. I will probably go back to the last cape because I kind of like that one better. Um, you've also got a ship reward that you can get. Uh, not through the Twitch drops, but this is going to be through the Expedition. So if you're wondering where to find that, Expedition Rewards, check it out. And there's your Utopia Speeder that you can now get. Now, I can select it because I happen to have an availability in my ship to get one. And it's an S-Class ship, too, to boot. So that's really, really neat. So I'm not going to exchange it. I'm going to buy it. And you have to buy it with nanites, as you can see. Nanites is the only way to buy this ship. I am not going to trade in my vector. So I will get the ship. And as you can see, my Golden Vector is still here. I never want to lose that ship. That was a lovely ship. Um, but let's go ahead and trade out to our... Uh, going the wrong way. There we go. Switch our dock ship, and we're going to go with... Uh, let's see. There you are. And that's the Utopian Speeder. And this is what this baby looks like. If we take a look, 
It does have the supercharged slots on board. It has a whole series of impulse engines and it comes automatically with an InfraKnife accelerator. Just so you know. Um, there's a supercharged slot here. It comes with two automatically, if I remember correctly. Yes. So those are the only two it comes with at this time. Until you upgrade the rest of the ship, which I will do, of course. But for now, I'll go ahead and just put her over here and get myself 20,000. Nice little ship. I'll go ahead and use it for now. All right. So that is, as they say, that. And that's how you can get your speeder. So there's two checkboxes checked now. Let's go to the Nexus. We're going to get our new event. Initialize the mission. We're going to start the mission. Let's see what this one's about. So if you haven't played the expedition, it was a really, uh, it's really a neat expedition. It's a very, I'm not going to call it laid back, it's a grind. There's a lot of grinding involved in this one. It's a different change of pace, different from other every other expedition, of course. So please, give it a shot. See what you like about it. I will suggest one thing. I guess it would be more along the lines of a... Uh, yeah, this could kind of break things if you don't want to listen to this at the uh, 6 minute and 27 second mark skip ahead about 10 seconds collect as much copper as you can on your first planet at least about 2500 to 3000 you will need that much at the very bare minimum okay so we need to find our infested planet and we're gonna be let's see this is a radioactive abomination, virulent infestation site. I have never seen a planet with that long of a name before, as far as the description is concerned. Unbelievable. Okay, so we're going to this infested planet, and let's see what we got to do here. It says, reach the planet Swarthodoma. Okay, this is Jada, 37 slash E9. 37, Jess, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Alright, target planet reached. Oh. Hmm. Yep, one of those planets. So we're gonna go ahead and land here by this uh, structure. Take a look around. And that is apparently what we're here to do. We're here to take out some Titan Worm Burrows. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to more bolt casters. God bless it. Let's, it. Let's go with the Neutron Cannon here. I've got it in its in the uh, maximum slots right now on my OSOC weapon. So we'll take a look. Oh, isn't that the neatest thing? Interesting. That is actually a fascinating little flying creature there. Can't say as I found one like that before. Oh, it's gonna be fun getting back to my ship. That's what I'm gonna call it. Alright. Okay, they should be popping out of the ground any second. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Too gone. as they say is that. So, as long as you're pretty good at flying around. Hey! Take that, you little green piece of garbage there. Alright, so now we just need to head back to our ship. Let's see, let's go down here. 
Oh, check that out. Found one of the vile spawns. Yeah. Yeah, you can just stay right there, buddy. I think the swarm has gone down. Okay. All right. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just take care of those uh, six guys from one burrow. Call on your ship. And she's done. That's all there is to it. Now, you can collect a bunch of that stuff if you feel like it. There's other worm burrows here. But frankly, I hate these kind of tall mountain planets. Just a uh, personal preference. I don't particularly care for them at all. All righty. Pull in the... Anomaly, and we'll head out of here. So that is the entire mission. So, not bad. I'm not big on the. Uh, um, that was weird. I think it just kind of knocked me sideways there, didn't I? I'm not really big on the uh, Titan rooms. I've never been a big fan of going to these infested planets, but, you know, to each his own. There's sometimes a lot of good things you can get there. And here we are. Back to the anomaly. So we'll just claim our reward. 1,800 credits. Quicksilver, if you will. And we're done. And if you want, you've got enough of those little uh, emblems over there to the right. You can go ahead and do a couple other ones, like unearthing... Uh, unearthing some ancient bones and get yourself some extra quicksilver. I've got three more missions I can do for an extra 1,200, which will basically add up to, all total, 3,000. And isn't that pretty much what I just spent on the cape? So, think about it. Good ways to do it. Now, there are ways to maximize the usage of quicksilver. I will leave that to other players and other gamers who stream and who give videos on how to do that. Now, as much as I love that uh, that particular cape, I really kind of like this one the best. This was the Titan Worm cape, which is also a pretty cool cape, especially with the color scheme I'm using. The Fleet Commander cape always looked really, really neat. I'm even half tempted on going with that for a little while. Whale Stalker wasn't too sh shabby. Uh, I didn't like the tatters of those. So... Titan Worm and the Organic Frigate. I'm going to stick to Organic because I just love the way that flows. There's just something really special about that. And if you're wondering about... Let's go ahead and save this real quick. The Creeping Visage. Uh, let's go to the head. I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, let's see. If I can find it anyway. It may not, oh, Fearsome Visor. Yeah, for some reason I don't have it unlocked right now. I'll have to go find it. Because I do have... I thought I had a different one in here. It wasn't the Golden Spawn. I mean, Shroud of Freedom is always pretty neat, but... My fearsome visage is not showing. I'll stick to my Blazing Orbit for now. Ah! There we go. Confused me. There. Stick my main colors. But the Fearsome Visage. Let's see if I can go ahead and grab that. I uh, thought I had that one. We'll take a quick leak, uh, look at it. And obviously, if you guys are done with the anomaly portion, you don't want to watch this. That's perfectly fine. I want to say it was an expedition reward. There it is. Fearsome Visor. So, Night Squad poster, the Quad Egg, already got that, Sandworm, Golden, yes, and then there's the Fearsome Visor. There was a different one, and I want to see if I can't find it. An unlockable helmet called the Feasting Cask. And for some reason, I don't seem to have it. Maybe it's just a helmet, and it's not the head? I'll have to check that out. Let's see what the Fearsome Visage looks like. Maybe I'll be switching over from my blazing orbit. Oh my. I don't know. Kind of liking it. Extra accents. Let's switch the colors around. I'm very curious about this. I don't know. 
It's looking a little too Vaderish there. What do you think? Whole thing yellow? Nah. Nah, that doesn't look right. Let's stick to the white helmet. Dark blue accents? Should we go with the gold accents down the center? I think the gold accents look pretty good. Yeah, that does look much better. Now let's look at the gold in place of the blue on the visor. That looks a lot better. Let's see what we look like here. That's not bad. Eh, I'll try it out for a little while. Let's see what we think of that. And the last thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the first. Um, there should be... The Immortal is one I always like to have. Okay, good deal. So that's new. Yeah, let's go with that for a little bit. It kind of looks good with the outfit we're wearing right now. So, hey, not bad. So there's your fearsome visage. Um, and we'll call it here. That's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's been a little bit sparse on the No Man's Sky side of things lately, folks. So, and I do understand with Hogwarts coming out and everything else that's been going on. Completely understandable. But, hey, give it a shot. Stop by, say hi, hit the subscribe button if you really have enjoyed the content, and hit that like button. And I always answer all my comments. You all know this. So, I appreciate you stopping by. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again in our next video. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.